this is a classic Mini Cooper that I found abandoned in a barn for 15 years. It's an absolute rust bucket and I plan to rebuild it and sell it for tons of money. This is episode two, let's see if we can do it. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to an episode that I'm hoping that is going to end where it's starting with me sat in this classic little mini but this time driving around. If you haven't seen episode one, go check out episode one but in that episode I showed you around this car and we've done quite a lot of work and we managed to get this car that's been sat for over 15 years to one. run. Have a listen to this. <laughs> this little thing is actually starting and running but it's not driving we need to sort it i want this car to be driving and then i'm going to share with you a major plan with this car at the end of the episode i've got someone coming over from specialized engineering which is a company that specializes in classics and rally cars over in essex they're making the massive journey all the way down to the south coast to help me out with this car because he's in the know about these little minis and i'm hoping that he can help me out so i'll catch up with you guys once that person is here and Yes, this is going to be an epic episode, so roll on the video. So this is what we get up to in this video. Lots of work. Oh yeah, you can see it's rough. Yeah. Let's see! Ah, oh, I can't even get out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hey, Steve. Give me a hand, mate. So guys, we got a big problem and I don't even know where to start, so that's why I'm calling in the big guns. All right, so guys, I've got Tom from Specialized Engineering here over in Essex. Good morning. Tom, you've been hearing me talking about this car on social media. You yep. said you can come down and give me a hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a stuck clutch, but what else have you found? Uh, well, apart from the few rust holes, <laughs> yeah. uh, throttle cable is stuck open as well. Yeah. Uh, a few leaks and fuel lines, brake lines, so we'll go through all that get it sorted, get it running nice and sweet, and then I presume you'll have it out. Spot on. Rebuild Man, it. I, I said it just yep. now, I said no. it just now. If you can get it all sorted, I want to take a little run in this yeah, little no. rust bucket. <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon we can? I think so, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not too sure, but you've got confidence. We've so got to have confidence. Yeah, guys, Tom is going to be here practically Do all day, we and we're going to try to get some stuff done. Hopefully we can go through the checklist, Tom's make a checklist, yep. and hopefully we can go through everything and get it all running. Yep. So we got the car running in episode one, but as soon as you press the clutch, it's completely just rock hard. I didn't have a clue, but as soon as Tom turned up and I told him that, he had an idea of what it could be, so he got started with tearing down the thingy from the thingy. Yep, we've got it, covers off, and it's the seized shaft yeah. to release the uh, clutch, push it in and out. We can spray it up and try and free it up and get it moving again. Yeah. If we can get it moving, it can go back on. Yep. So guys, so it's been about two hours and this gentleman here, has had a lot of work to do. Tell me what you found out. Right, what we found is the whole clutch assembly was seized solid, shaft into there, the linkage into the shaft, it was all seized solid in there. Yeah. So all we've got to do really is just clean it all up, reassemble it all, and with a bit of luck, we'll have a working clutch. The bearing's Fingers all crossed. good. It's got a nice smooth bearing in it, yeah. so hopefully it's just seized through nearly 30 years of corrosion. Yeah, spot on. How so, confident yeah. are you that we can get it sorted? We'll get it back together and we'll get it working again. Okay, let's Should clean this all up, up and, yep. and see. Guys, we had to use fire, <laughs> penetrating Penis, fluid, all the tools. a little beating stick right there, and some brute force, yep. but you've got it out. We've got it there in the end. Yeah, we got it out in the end, so happy days. Before we move on, have a look at the clutch. The clutch actually looks pretty good. What do you make of the clutch? It's a decent clutch, yep. yep. For, the, for no, the age of the car and no how long it's been it sat. Absorbed. Yeah, no, it's very good clutch. So guys, just by removing a few nuts and bolts, look at the amount of rust that's just fallen off the shell of this car. But anyway, Tom went ahead, cleaned up that bearing, cleaned up all the nuts and bolts, 
and we're gonna try to reinstall this back onto the car but this time we're gonna be adding tons of grease tons of lubricant and hopefully we can get this clutch working again Is that what it's meant to be doing the first time, yep. yeah? That yeah, was so completely super. solid. So after cleaning, freeing and lubricating the bearing, we got it back in, but we wanted to check the hydraulics in the clutch system and it actually works, it just needed some bleeding. It's actually fascinating to think that this car was abandoned for 15 years and the majority of the components still works. Go on, Steve, what's your best memory in the Mini? <laughs> best memory? I couldn't possibly tell you. <laughs> you couldn't tell me you don't want to tell me. <laughs> My first car, though. Yeah? yeah? You know what? This has been parked outside, right? And Tom as well. Everyone who sees it, they, they always say, yeah, it's first car, I used to drive in this car, I learned to drive in this car. Yeah. I see movement when you press the clutch now. Guys, it's literally all day, <laughs> all day is passed. Mm -hmm. We got the clutch back in, unseized, and now we're gonna see if it moves. That's not happy. <laughs> Take two, had a flat battery. Okay, okay we got life now. It's more adjustment. Huh? There's more adjustment. It's not going in enough to engage yet. Okay. Why you just sat there, man? <laughs> yeah. Up, down. Nah, I need some more room. <laughs> I can't wait to drive this mini. <laughs> Imagine you're gonna see big old me in the little mini. <laughs> so guys, we spent a bit of time bleeding yet again. Lots of headache. Take three. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. You gotta lift it, it says. Oh yeah, I'm trying to push it down. Oh, 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 oh. we got movement. We've got movement. <laughs> Happy days, Happy buddy. Seven. We got movement. Brilliant job. Ah, uh, Tom, thank you very much, man. I wouldn't have been able to do that without you, man. So no, much, no, brilliant. much appreciated. No. So yeah, guys, we've got movement. We've got a working clutch, running a working driving. engine. You know, in episode one, we sorted the engine, got it running. Episode two, sorted the clutch. And we still got a bit more work to do because yep. we haven't got any brakes. All the brake lines, well, the majority of the brake lines have perished. Mm -hmm. And I know for a fact, the ones in the rear are leaking. So there's no pressure. Oh. What happened? What happened? I heard oh, oh. big puddles of brake fluid. Is it brake fluid yeah. or is it petrol? Because yesterday it was leaking petrol. You can smell it. Oh yeah, it's petrol. Is it right. petrol? Yeah. Oh god. Okay, guys, no more, no more messing about because I don't want to end the build before it even gets off its feet. Nope. <laughs> Imagine it just goes up in flames. Yeah. Don't even want to talk about that. Talk it into existence. So, have we got time? Certainly dig into it. Just to we? have a look. Yep, we certainly can. Okay, um, so yeah, let's get it on the ramp, get it up in the air and see why it's leaking petrol. But yeah, guys, we got movement. Oh, hey, Steve, we got movement. <laughs> <laughs> it's bleeding from the tank. The fade pipe from the oh. tank. Oh yeah, you can see it's rusted. Yeah, it's had a little tank in it at some point, so yeah. that's probably got disturbed and split when they've changed the tank over. Well, I took the tank out yesterday. Did you? Yeah, at the top. So it just connects with some rubber hoses at the top. So I never yep. messed about with None of this. down there. That's full up, is it? Full up. <laughs> the handbrakes are solid as well. So look, I can see that's, it's probably the rear drums. Yeah. Probably yeah. seized uh, solid yeah, as well. It'll be seized on the corners, on the hinges here. Up there, it'll be seized. Yeah? Yeah, more than likely. For the rest, is that the rear suspension? That's the handbrake cable. Ah, oh, okay. Where it loops around and pulls onto the mechanism here. Yeah. At the moment, it's pulled tight because there's nothing in the spring. Same with that side, it's not even connected. Blood it up, look. Yep. Gone. It's not in a good way, is it? No, but it's nothing that isn't easily fixed. Yeah, that's, that's the way I look at it. Some people look at this and say it's a pile of crap. For me, I'm like, yep, yeah, can't wait to get to fix it. 
is where people should learn on things like this. Yeah. You hear that guys? People should learn on things like this. Yeah. <laughs> Get the basics. If you're doing an apprenticeship, this is where you start. So you just have a look, mate. Whatever yeah. you see that needs changing, hopefully we can get the brakes working. So we're making great progress. Spirits are high, but just the deeper we dig into this thing, the worse it gets. Like, just have a look at <laughs> the rear end. It's a mess. What did I do? Like, what have I gotten myself into? But it is what it is and we keep it moving. So the plan is to strip down all of these damaged fuel lines. We need to figure out why it's leaking, fix the problem, and hopefully we can get the car running and driving. So after some investigation, Tom identified a split fuel line and we were able to sort that. Oh man, guys, there's one thing after our next. So Tom went ahead and sorted out the petrol leak. Yep. <laughs> now we've got a fuel leak. Fuel leak. Brake line. Brake so there's brake line, air, it's yeah. dripping brake fluid everywhere. We've got yeah. no pressure for the brakes. Like, I want to do a quick little drive, but we've got to find a way of sorting out that brake line right there. Take a look at that. It's a horrible mess. Guys, who's up for the task? A little bit of body filler, a little bit of fiberglass. Tom, what do you reckon? Yeah. Sort out all the rust? Yeah. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Oh, no. man. So it's literally two steps forward and 10 back. As soon as we fix one broken line, another one springs. The brake lines are completely shot. We're just going through it one by one. So guys, anyone watching and thinking, what are you doing is literally just a temporary fix. So like, I've got a little bit of brakes to move this little mini in and out of the garage. I just wanted to put that out there because I know the comments are going to be going nuts. Let me see. Look at him, what is he doing? So after an entire day of hard graft, it's finally time to see if this thing actually moves. Let's see, come on. Yeah, man, I did say at the end of the video, I want to be driving the little mini and it looks like that's happening. Come on, Steve, untether me. <laughs> so guys, we got the little mini driving, if only <laughs> literally a few <laughs> yards, but that's, that's the risk that I want to take. I'm not going to take any more risks because we haven't got the brakes working and the spring for, what is it? The spring for the- um, Throttle body. Throttle body, yeah. I knew that. <laughs> the spring for the throttle body has snapped. I want to give a massive thank you to Tom from Specialized Engineering. Man, where can they find you? Spec Shut up! <laughs> Oi! We're trying to record a YouTube video here. Go yeah. on, Tom. Catch us on Instagram, specialized.engineering. Yep. Or our YouTube channel, which isn't very good at the minute. <laughs> so Instagram's the one, head over yep. there. And what, what kind of stuff do you do? Because your Instagram looks Rice amazing. Rice classics, man. mainly the classics. We leave the modern stuff to the likes of yourselves. <laughs> so anything like this, yep. old school carburetors, good old fashioned mechanical, anything like that. Yeah, you definitely know your stuff, man. So yeah, I appreciate you coming Not down. Not a problem. I appreciate all the help and that's the right. hard work that, that you've done today. Like add literally, it, gloves, look. look at yourself. That's yep. me, look look at me. That's me when I leave the garage. It's all about just hard graft, yeah, hard it. work. You don't look nice, you ain't had yeah. a nice work. And I definitely would have been able to get that um, clutch fixed without you today. So we've got major plans oh, for this good. build. You've seen, you've seen the plans. What I've seen the builds. It? it looks good, it will be good. Yeah. Once yeah. this is out and into a Bit of more of a solid shell. Yeah, that, yeah, Tom's just giving it away. So I'm going to show you the plan. I know that this is a piece of crap, but <laughs> all along, if you guys remember in all of my videos, one minute, Tom. Yeah. yeah. I told you, I got bills to pay, brother. It's going to be sick. Look up there. That is a brand new, <laughs> fully repaired, fully treated shell and everything from that car is gonna go into this shell. This car is gonna be a classic once again. I told you guys I'm gonna show you the little secret plan at the end of the video, and we've made it to the end of the video. You've seen the secret plan, tell me what you think. But this little bad boy is running. We still got a lot more work to do, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you press the like button if you enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to go check out Tom at specialized.engineering on Instagram. 
and give him a message if you've got any work on classic cars. Mm -hmm. But I've seen some modern stuff, man. You were saying... Yeah, we do modern what's as What's the well. engine rebuild? If you, got, you said you, you, you rebuilt a seized engine. I get a lot of We've comments got, uh, about seized engines. Daimler V8. Yeah. Hemi V8, that's with C's. We're rebuilding that currently at the minute. Yep. Uh, I've just done a top-end rebuild on my Mark 1 Audi TT. Yep. All new valve stem, oil seals, yep. timing, head Spot gasket. On. So if someone has a timing chain issue, they can come to you? Yep, come to us, we can sort that out. Spot Not on. a problem. The main man, the living legend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Steve, thank you for your help today. Steve was working on this and he was doing a few bits on some other builds that we've got. So yeah, stay tuned for all of that and this is where we're gonna wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left, there's plenty in the playlist. And if you wanna know more about the Salvage game, why don't you become a member of Salvage Nation and I'll be there to guide you along the way. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram if you wanna get an inside scoop before YouTube.